Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you a super handy trick in Gutenberg or the blocks editor. It's going to save you so much time when you're working on your content, especially pages that might be a little more complex, have a lot of columns, that kind of thing. It's called the document outline. And this was actually inspired by a help desk ticket that we got this week. Uh, somebody had a page with a bunch of bios that had images on one side and the bio on the other. And she was trying to do duplicate a section, but it just ended up adding columns and got a little frustrating. So I showed her this trick and she's happy now. So here we go. Here we are in the back end of our site. We have a, kind of a complex page here. It's got a title, it's got little icons, um, you know, blocks of text, these columns, that kind of thing. So let's say you wanted to duplicate this whole row and put it right here so that you could add some more stuff. Well, you could find each individual element, maybe hover over until you get a column, maybe get another column. Um, hmm. Let's see, it's starting to get a little confusing because now I don't know where I am. So what I would do is I would kind of start backing out here and clicking around until I got, oh wait, let's try that. There it is, it's the whole parent block. That's what I wanted. Okay, well that took a little time and was a little frustrating. So here's what you can do instead. When you go to your page, go right up here and click this icon. It says document overview. When you click that, it will open up this panel here that shows you a list view of all of the elements. You also have an outline view here if you want to see them according to, uh, you know, what heading they've been given and the actual names of things. But for our purposes, we're going to go here into list view. So let's say once again, that we want to duplicate this entire row. So first thing I would do is click on part of the row, that will take you here to the part of the list view, the section in the list view representing that area on your page. Now you'll see that as I hover over things, they sort of light up or uh, are outlined on the right hand side. So you'll see if I go here, that is outlining the entire section that I want to duplicate. So. I'm going to click on that, just select it. Now I'm going to click on these three dots. I can say duplicate and there it is. It's right below. This was obviously a much quicker and easier solution. The other nice thing about this list view is that you can also use it to reorder things on your page. So Gutenberg does let you easily drag things around, move them up or down with these arrows. But let's say you wanted to move an entire section, say this array of resources section. Let's say that you wanted to move that up to above this section here. So in that case, I would click in, I would find the whole group, and then you just click and drag that up above this group here. And there you have it. It's now up above. So this list view here will really give you a great overview of all the content on your blocks page. Uh, you can move things around easily. You can duplicate them easily. If you want to copy the styles or paste the styles from one to another, if you want to create a pattern out of a section, uh, we covered that in another video, but that's a cool way where you can create a section on your website and then reuse it on other parts of your website. This is just another feature of Gutenberg or the Blocks Editor that makes your editing experience so much easier and makes WordPress even more pleasant to work with. And there you have it. The document overview in Gutenberg is a total game changer for easily copying and pasting sections of your content, for moving around whole chunks, uh, and just getting a sense of where things are on the page, where they're nested, that kind of thing. So next time you're working on a project, give it a try. See how much time it can save you. Thanks for watching, and as always, follow us or subscribe for more super fast WordPress tips. Thanks.